Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a date night so I thought why not film a little get ready with me. So we're starting off bare faced and we're gonna jump straight in because I know when I film a video when I've got somewhere to go I know I'm rushing and I'm really late by the end of it so we're just gonna crack straight on. I will as always leave a link in the info box to all the products that I've used so please don't forget to check that out. But now we're gonna get on to painting my face. Um, I have already cleansed and toned and I haven't moisturized yet so let's quickly just do that. I think I'm going to use this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. That is a mouthful. But we're going to get that onto our face. This is probably the one like brand which whenever they come up with anything skincare it legit smells exactly like what it's supposed to be. So I've also got this like pineapple serum from them and that smells like real pineapples in there. I'm gonna get this on. Seeing as that doesn't have any SPF in it, I'm actually gonna use this Lumen UV Primer. It's got an SPF of 30, so we're actually gonna get a bit of that onto our face as well. This is actually the first time I've used that and I love that this doesn't give like a weird like gray cast on the skin. It actually just leaves the skin looking really nice and moisturized and healthy. So we're gonna move straight on to foundation now. I think I'm gonna actually put my hair behind me before we do that. Actually, I'm gonna very quickly prime my skin um, with my favorite primer. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of the All Nitro on because I wanna make sure my foundation and my base and everything is looking great all night long. So now the skin is fully, fully prepped and we are ready for foundation. And the foundation that I'm gonna be using is actually the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. This is actually a new formula that they've released. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I've been a huge fan of this foundation. And a few years ago, I was actually asked to be in this massive campaign where I was on like this TV campaign and like billboards and magazines and it was just insane. And I'm forever, forever thankful and grateful for that. I've got to say that it was probably one of like my like top three things that I've done in my career. Like it was just, it was crazy. I never ever thought it would be that big when I was like filming it and shooting it with them. But yeah, it was one of the most amazing things that I've ever done. And they've actually come out with a new formula. So the new formula has been slightly tweaked. So it's got things like hyaluronic acid in it, which is an ingredient that I personally love. I'm actually gonna read you guys what it says on the back here. So it's a new super blendable formula that perfectly matches your skin. It's got ultra fine pigments to perfectly match your skin tone and undertone. It's got a perfect natural coverage. It's got hydrating care to moisturize and beautify your skin. A 24 hour hydration and in two weeks the skin looks smoother and more radiant and it's also got an SPF of 17 as well. One thing that I love about this foundation is that it now comes in 40 shades and I think that is amazing that we now have a foundation which you can get from the high street that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg and you're going to find a shade that suits you. So I am super super excited about this foundation and on a complete side note I know the team are probably not going to be expecting this but um, I just want to say a huge 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 thank you to the entire L'Oreal Paris team. You guys are honestly like a second family to me and also thank you for sponsoring the foundation in this video. You guys are amazing and I'm so glad that I get to share all this amazingness with my amazing angels. But yeah, that was just a little bit of a side note. But now um, enough of me blabbering and we're gonna get this onto our face. So I'm just gonna get a few squirts of this on the back of my hand. Using my beauty blender, I'm just gonna get this onto my face and get it all blended in. The shade that I'm using is Golden Sun and I've gotta say it is like the most perfect match. I love the natural finish that this foundation has got. You kind of can't tell where the foundation starts and finishes, which for me is the like telltale sign of a really good foundation. I'm actually gonna insert some clips of my like bare skin to show you guys because since using True Match, my skin looks so much more radiant and I mean, if my skin's gonna look healthy and radiant both with and without makeup, like, Sign me up for that, I need I need that in my life. I'm just making sure that everything is completely nice and blended. You can see my freckles very, very slightly through the foundation and you can actually add more foundation to like amp up the coverage, but I'm pretty happy with the way that it's evened out my skin. And we're gonna carry on with the cream products before we move on to all the powders. So I'm going to do a very quick little cream contour. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I'm just gonna start drawing that onto the areas where we want to contour a little bit on my nose and a little bit around my mouth 
I'm just going to blend all of those lines away with a buffer brush and then just go over the areas with my damp beauty blender again just to make sure everything is looking really nice and seamless. Now it's time to highlight and conceal and for that I'm going to use the Stay Naked Concealer from Urban Decay. I'm still massively loving this and I'm going to get this onto the usual areas underneath my eyes, on the sides of my nose, my chin and my forehead and then blend all of that out as well with my damp beauty blender. Cream products are all done and now it's time to set everything in place. I'm going to start off by setting the concealer first and I'm actually going to be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I actually haven't picked this up in ages and I remember the times that I did used to wear it. I used to love the finish of it. So we're going to get this on to the under eyes and pretty much everywhere else we have concealed and highlighted. I literally got it all down my top. <laughs> I've honestly forgotten how good that setting powder is. It kind of doesn't even look like I've set those areas, but I obviously have, and it's super, super light. I'm really loving that. Um, and for bronzer, again, I just, I can't put this bronzer down. My back to bronze bronzer. And I've actually been doing my bronzer a different way, and I learned this from Adam, who did my makeup a few um, weeks ago. His name is Makeup by Adam on Instagram, but he likes pressing the bronzer into the skin. Not forgetting my jawline. And also a quick nose contour. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow to my contour using the Kevin Aquan Sculpt Powder. Just the slightest little, two little baby taps. And just deepening that up a little bit. And then I love going over with my foundation side of my beauty blender over the skin. I'm going to set all that in place using my all nighter. I'm going to leave my cheeks and lips to the end, so now we're going to move on to eyes. And I was going through my eyeshadow drawer and I was like kind of thinking, what eyeshadow could I use? And I realised I've got the Huda Beauty Nude palette, which um, she launched quite a while ago, but I feel like I've never, ever, ever used this. So I thought, why not use it right now? And it's got some really beautiful, like, earthy but, like, cool tones. And I've been loving a cool tone eye at the moment, so we're going to go in with that. But first thing is first, we're going to prep our eyelid. I'm going to use the P. Louise and Mama Mama Mitchell collab. This is the Acid Rain Black Canvas Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm going to get this all over my eyes and blend it out. I also set it in place with the same Hourglass setting powder. So I'm going to first take the shade Secret and get that onto my crease and really build that colour up until I'm happy with the way that's looking. And then we're going to go in with, I think, a slightly deeper tone. I want the crease to still be quite cool in tone, so I'm actually going to take the shade Lace and add that into the crease as well. Now it's time to really deepen up the outer part of the eyes. So I'm going to take the shade Tease and really get that in there and make sure it's really nice and blended out. I did think this eye was going to turn out to be a lot more cooler than it is. It's more of like a purpley, rosy tone, which is okay, we're going to work with it, and we're going to do like a fake cut crease, a very, very quick and easy cut crease that I like to do when I want to look like I've made a real big effort, but really it's just a lot of good blending and using the right brushes. So I'm using like a real flat concealer brush and I'm going to take the shade Daydream and start kind of cutting the crease with the eyeshadow in the inner corners of the eyes. I very quickly filled in my brows off camera and the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to comb through my eyelash extensions very quickly. I was just saying to my husband the other day that these have lasted me so well. It's almost been a month and they're still going strong. Before I do my lower lash mascara, I'm just going to get a little bit of the shade Tease and run it along my lash line and just smoke that out very slightly. I'm just going to get a little bit of the Bambi Eye False Lash onto my lower lashes very quickly. So we're almost done, we've just got cheeks and lips left. And for cheeks I'm going to use Sweet Enough from MAC. I've been to quite a few weddings recently and every time I go to weddings I feel like wearing my wedding blush and this is it. So I'm going to get this onto my cheeks and seeing as it's date night. It's very, very suited as well. So I'm going to get this onto them. And for highlight, a little bit of champagne pop. And what I've been doing recently is just popping it onto just the kind of high points of my cheeks rather than like dragging it all the way back. I am very, very slightly going to add a little bit onto my brow bone as well. I feel like this just completes the eye. 
For lips, we're going to keep it super nude and I'm going to use a Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade 1995 and get that all onto my lips. And my spritz of All Nighter. I'm also going to get a teeny weeny bit of the Luminous Dewy Mist just onto my highlight on my cheeks. And this, you guys, is the end of the Get Ready With Me. I am luckily ready on time. I am going to put a little bit of my perfume on. I've been loving my Chanel Coromandel. If you guys like oud and if you guys like, like a baby powdery scent, you guys will love this. But I'm going to get this onto the usual areas of where I like spraying it all over me. And now I am fully ready. I just need to get my shoes and my bag and then we are good to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this old school get ready with me. I love filming get ready with me. They are my favourite video to film ever. So I think that is everything from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this really pretty pink romantic date night get ready with me. I did actually think this was going to be a very cool tone eye with just very pretty skin. But it ended up being very much so a pinky look. But still with very, very pretty skin. So yeah, all the products that I have mentioned will be in the description box below. So please don't forget to check that out. And I think that is all from me for now. Again, a massive thank you to L'Oreal Paris for giving me so much love over the years and collaborating with me on this video. And also massive love for all of you guys for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I think that is everything from me for now. And I shall hopefully see you all in my next video.